So what's going on? So new to the Phantom 3 standard. However, uh, if you guys remember when I kicked this off originally the first time, I was having all sorts of connection problems with my device. And uh, I found a remedy for it. And I'm going to go ahead and give you that remedy, my fix towards it. And I think this is probably going to apply to any Android device uh, beyond 6.0 um, or later. And uh, But, but you know, everybody was saying that you can only use it with the 4.2 uh, KitKat, basically. For Android and uh, I think I finally figured out a way to bypass that and I'm gonna show that to you today so the first thing I'm gonna do is show you what's been happening to me so that you guys can see if this is happening to you first so I'm gonna go ahead and do is I am going to switch on my transmitter for the drone you guys won't be able to see this you're just gonna have to take my advice that I'm being honest with you here we're gonna go ahead and switch on my uh, Phantom 3 standard uh, controller I'm gonna go ahead and power up my uh, DJI Phantom 3 so we can get the connection rolling here and I'm going to show you exactly exactly what's been happening to me okay so let's uh, let's go ahead and pull this down um, I am going to wait for the transmitter to go green light I'm gonna pull this down again here <clears throat> okay excellent so we're gonna go to settings I'm gonna go to Wi-Fi we're going to find Phantom 3. I'm not messing with anything else. Everything is normal. I'm connected to my regular Wi-Fi at the house. Now we're going to go ahead and switch over to Phantom 3. I'm going to go ahead and hit connect. Okay. All right. Now, look here. It says I'm connected to the Wi-Fi, right? So I'm going to go ahead and back out of this. And I am going to go to the DJI. Sorry about that. The DJI Go app. Can't help the messages from coming in. Okay okay and as you can see for whatever reason it hasn't picked my bird it's not showing me anything there's there's a problem here it just says camera but it's not actually going to my bird it doesn't it's not communicating properly with the drone itself it seems to be communicating with the transmitter but it's not communicating with the drone because and and my thought about this is that it's not providing a solid Wi-Fi signal. My phone, I think, for 6.0 and higher with the newer Android devices, because it doesn't detect a Wi-Fi signal, it wants me to. It, it tries to kick your network back over to 4G, and uh, so I want to test a theory here. We'll just go to I don't know I don't know what I was looking up here. Let's find out my last uh, thing I was looking up. There we go, Tampa Craigslist. Let's see if I can click on one of these ads. See what I'm saying? It's still using my 4G network. Even though I'm connected to the DJI Go app, it has bumped me back and it's still allowing me to use my 4G network. <coughs> so, how do we fix that problem? How do we get it so that it communicates with the drone properly? Well, here's what I would do. We're going to go ahead and turn off the transmitter. We're going to turn off the bird. Okay. And, uh, as you can see, it just dropped the internet signal up there. So what I'm going to go ahead and do this time is I'm going to pull this down and I'm going to put my phone into airplane mode. And then I'm going to turn on Wi-Fi. And then we're going to go to settings. Access Wi-Fi. I'm going to turn on the transmitter. I'm going to turn on the bird. We're going to wait a sec till we see the phantom. And once phantom pops up, I'll click on it. I may have to refresh it. There it is. So we'll click on this. It'll bump me off the internet that I'm currently using. Now I'm not connected to any signal. Okay? Nothing. Other than the transmitter and the bird. So let me show you something. We'll go back to the internet here. And I'll try to click on one of these links and we'll see what happens. Oh, you're offline now. It's not using my 4G network. So now when I go to DJI Go watch this boom it found it immediately and knew what I was using so when I click on camera there you go I can access my bird and it runs properly I'm no lag no nothing it's it's working perfectly fine so for those of you having connection problems with the newer Android systems that are out there let me home screen this with the newer Android systems that, oh by the way one more thing check this out even though I have my thing set it's still showing GPS because it's now communicating with the drone which knows where it's at so it's gonna say home point set okay which it already did the app has still been open so it already is it, it may say it again here in a sec but it already says home point set 
you can see that it has the H on there for home point. So we'll go ahead and close this. I'll turn off the transmitter. And that's basically it, guys. So when you're ready, just remember to turn your, uh, okay, blah, blah, blah. Just remember to turn your airplane mode back on or back off and uh, your phone will come back into normal use. It'll detect that I have regular Wi-Fi here in a second. It should connect to that. There it is. And boom, my phone is back in regular operating order and I can use my newer 6.0 device and higher uh, to, to work with the Phantom 3. Because I can tell you the difference between my quad-core processor and my octa-core processor. My quad-core processor only had two gigs of RAM and it was very slow with the DJI Go app. Um, and I think the same thing is going to apply to Litchi. If I do this with Litchi, I believe you will end up with the same results. You will be able to use your newer Android device uh, with this system. So if any of you guys are having connection problems with newer devices, um, I believe you really can use any device with this as long as uh, you understand that you need to turn on airplane mode first, then while it's in airplane mode, turn on your Wi-Fi. That way it's not trying to bump back to uh, a different signal, which is why they say you can use most tablets with this, okay, because it's not reaching out for an extra signal. It's just going to allow you to connect to the Wi-Fi. It's going to com communicate with the bird and then communicate with your phone, whereas a phone, a newer phone, when you bump a Wi-Fi and it doesn't detect any internet, it's going to, even though you can stay connected to that network on your Wi-Fi, it's still going to give you the ability to use 4G. So you want to cut that connection. You don't want it to have that 4G connection. You want it to just communicate through Wi-Fi with the bird itself. And that is how you basically fix your problem. Uh, I believe, like I said, this should work for most people. Anything 6.0 and higher should have no problem. I believe you will see that I am accurate with this information. Um, I've been playing with this a lot. I didn't want to buy a tablet. I know we had been trying to figure out the tablet situation, but now I can use my phone for, I believe, Litchi, uh, DJI Go app, and I can use my Solex. Now I can use one device for all my birds still. This was becoming quite an annoyance, and I was getting tired of the lag, so I decided to sit here today and figure this out with you guys. So there you go. Anyways, drone worship, and I'm out. A toodaroo!